Hello, Jackie here to come in and talk to you about two new VIP kid classes. I couldn't believe it. I just happened to, off and on, I've learned over the years to go to certifications and scroll it down and look. And they have a dot. And then usually that dot on the topic tells you um, certifications that are available. Now I have a dot next to my Tiger School because I had every Tiger School um, certification possible, but I asked them to remove them. Not a fan of them at all. I also don't like the global ones. I'm getting some more recently. This is, uh, no, this is November, 2023. And I'm getting some of those. I don't like them because when you click on classroom, it uses that window. It doesn't open up a new window. I don't know why. I just not a fan of that. So, and then you have to like turn on your camera and microphone when it starts and then turn them off when it stops. There's no start and finish button on the globals. So the two new classes, what are they? They are different, very different. And yes, I did get certified for them. Might regret that, might not. But the good news is I can have them removed if I don't like them. <laughs> I still need to do some more training and some practice before hand when I get booked for one I'm, I'm going to definitely do a ton of training in preparation for it I have the gist of both of them so the first one it is an ST math course it has this little penguin it's GG I think is how you pronounce it maybe it depends on again your region your pronunciation and everything but overall it is a whole bunch of math puzzles you have to walk through and do. So I'm not still sure of my script or what do I say and what I do and and flipping through the program. I'm, I I have to do a lot of more, but I passed the quiz. Um, yeah, I got the gist and like I said, the, the basics on the class and the functionality and the tools and um, yeah, I'm kind of learned on the job with this. <laughs> the second one, excuse me, I need some water. Oh, blurry. Focus. There we go. <laughs> um, the second one is a one to many. So you may or may not have that uh, section in your certifications, but one to many. And if I read it correctly and studied it correctly and answered correctly, it doesn't ask you this question in the quiz, but it says that one to a hundred can join. <laughs> so I went through some of the demos or some of the sample classes. They're basically all adults. It didn't blur out anybody's faces. And they show you the whole thing. There's one teacher and there's all these little tiny people. It's like a Zoom meeting with a, with a whiteboard. Kind of reminds me of Blackboard, if you've ever heard of that or used that with um, virtual learning or um, distance learning in school. So um, you go into breakout rooms. Um, you put two students together. To, you come back out. You can go into each one, take notes. You have to have notes on every student. Now, the most I saw was, I think, five, but they came, I was scrolling through the timeline. There was three students, then it was five, and it was like four. So I don't know if they just jump in and out. I don't know if that's allowed. So again, I need to do a little bit more research, but yeah, I was pretty surprised. So enjoy, check them out. You may or may not have been invited yet because that's how VIP kid, VIP teacher roles, they, they kind of do a rollout, you know, um, of introduction for different programs. There was no new sort of contract for it. It is still the base rate, seven bucks, <laughs> but it does still go with the tier program. So the more classes you teach, the higher um, you get per class in uh, using that tier program. And uh, most people, if you look at the tiers though, I think tier four, five, six, seven are pretty much the same pay. It's kind of weird, whatever. Anyway, so let me know, are you certified for ST math or the one to many is called Pearson. It's from, and Pearson is a publishing company, but they also have a whole bunch of virtual learning and other programs. And so it's basically English vocabulary. These people are fluent. And you'll say today, our topic, the one I looked at was travel. So they talked about cabs and planes and trains and cars and um, travel like vacation, holiday, travel vocabulary. So it's helped help them increase their vocabulary. So <laughs> that's it. That's all I got. So I thought it was interesting. If you didn't know, if you don't have it yet, it's coming maybe to everyone. And uh, I have it. So when I do a class, I'll be back to share exactly what that is. 
I hope this was helpful and informative. And again, keep commenting below about questions that you may have to help me with my uh, content. Thank you.